In this video, I'm going to show you how to style your payment element so that it matches the look and feel of your site. Let's get started. Let's navigate back down to our script and passing in CSS and styling for the payment element is really straightforward. So you'll just need to create an object that has some of the different stylings that you want. So you have variables. You can see what all these different variables like grid, grid row gap and grid column gap and all those things, what they mean inside of the docs. In addition to that, there are also rules where you can see CSS like states and options here and of course you can also see information and examples on this in a docs as well i'm just going to call this appearance that's just because the option that you use when you pass in this variable is also called appearance and so what you do is you go into the payment element and in addition to passing in the client secret you simply pass in the appearance and now that we save this with an appearance that we're passing into the payment element, it should update the style of the element. So let's take a look at it. All right, we'll do our refresh. And now our payment element has a style that looks reminiscent of Windows 95. Now, of course, this is just a demonstration. You can make the payment element look however you'd like. And if you wanna dive into that a bit more, definitely check out the docs. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.